Stan had been in New York and asked when they created Marvel Productions if he could come out and work for Marvel Productions because he was very interested in film and television. So when I got the job offer to go become president and CEO of Marvel, I took Stan Lee to lunch. And I had known Stan at Hanna-Barbera because we'd gotten the rights to do the thing. And uh, Joe Barbera thought Stan Lee was a nut. And um, actually, I think Stan would laugh at this now. Joe used to refer to Stan as the cuckoo bird because Stan was you know, very gregarious and outgoing and energetic. So I knew him and I admired him, but I didn't know him well. So I got to Marvel and I thought, well, the first thing I need to do is take Stan to lunch. Had that kind of conversation that I'd had with Frizz Freeling and Walter Lance and Joe Barbera in my early days and tell him I'm a fan and I have a lot to learn from him. And so I took him to lunch and I said, Stan, I just want you to know, I know on paper I'm your boss, but I'm not really your boss. You, you don't really work for me. I'm, if anything, I'm honored to be your partner. He said to me, Maggie, you can be my boss any day of the week. As a matter of fact, I only have one rule. And if you follow this rule, we're going to get along famously. And I said, what? Uh, what Stan, tell me what your rule is. He says, when we go to lunch and I order dessert, don't you ever ask to eat any of my dessert. That was his rule. And the funny thing about that was, later on when we go to lunch with clients, and he'd always order dessert because he loves them, and I'd see the network executive with their spoons start to say, Stan, I'd go, no, you can't have any of Stan's dessert. That was Stan's rule. So, you know, he's, a, he's a, a man with an ego, but he's also very modest. He's a, a humble in his own way, and he was wonderful. I, I really enjoyed him, and I, we became great friends while I was at Marvel, but we became more successful friends mm -hmm. when I was at Fox, mm -hmm. because when I went to Fox, I called up Stan, and I said, okay, Stan, we couldn't sell the shows that you and I both believed in when I was with Marvel, but now I'm running a network, so here's what we're going to do. 